Hey guys, this is a workout video for uh, runners specifically to target your deep core muscles. We're gonna start on our backs with our knees bent and our feet flat and our hands behind our head. We're gonna start with a basic curl up. So your elbows are wide, hands are stacked, and your head is resting. You're gonna inhale to prepare, exhale to curl up. Inhale down, exhale, curl up. There's a small space between the chin and your chest and you're really trying to use your lower abdominals to pull your head up using your ab muscles. So you're not pulling on your neck, your neck is resting in your hands, exhaling, pulling up, inhaling, lowering down. For each move today, we're just gonna do it for a period of time to get a nice heat deep in our abdominals and then we're gonna move on. So it's not about reps, it's more about fatigue. Pilates is about resting and returning. So if you get tired, I want you to rest and come back. Let's focus on the breath for a few more reps. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, and hold. Rest your head in your hands, keep that small space. Look down at your abdomen. You should be pulling your abs down and back in towards your lower back. So we're really not trying to let the muscles poop up, but to pull them down. We're gonna hold here for five. Each exhale, pull down a little more for three, two, one, and rest. The next move we're gonna do is gonna be a curl up with our legs in Pilates stance. So we're gonna lift our feet high to the sky. You're gonna point your toes, I know you can't see them, and turn your feet out. So the positioning here, if you wanna see over the shoulder, is that you're turning the feet out, but then they're lifted right up and over your head. So keeping that position there, we're gonna inhale to prepare, exhale, curl up, inhale down, exhale, curl up. So second set, Pilates stance. We're exhaling, curling up, inhaling, lowering down, trying to again, pull our abdominals down and into our backs. We should have a really nice heat through our abdominal wall. And again, you wanna rest and return. Let's do five more. Five, exhale, lock those knees out, four, three, two, exhale, lift, one, hug the knees in, turn your head right and left, get a little bit of a stretch. The next move we're gonna do is gonna be a single leg stretch. So curl your head, neck and shoulders up, bow your elbows out wide. You're gonna send your right leg long, toe pointed. You're gonna bring your left hand to the outside of your left leg and your right hand on top of your right knee. This is your lock and load position. Inhale to prepare. On your exhale, you're going to take five seconds to slowly switch the legs and bring the other leg in. So now your right leg is in, elbows wide, left hand on top of right knee, right hand on the outside of the right ankle bone. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, switch five, four, three, two, one. Inhale here, exhale to switch. Five, four, three, two, one. Last time, inhale here, exhale. Five, four, three, two, and one. When you pull the leg in, you want your shin to be parallel to the floor. Shoulders down, small space here. Now we're just gonna switch rapid fire. It's gonna be switch, 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 switch for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hug your knees in, shake your head no. Let's put our feet flat and take a couple of bridges just to counter. Stretch out our abdominal cavity, stretch out our hip flexors. As you bridge, I want you to keep your chest down, bra line down, and lifting your glutes up towards the ceiling. Good. Single leg, straight leg stretch. Again, curl up in a ball. Knees are in towards your chest, elbows are wide, small space. Pull your abs down right here. You're gonna take your right knee, send it high to the sky, toe is pointed, leg is turned out. Lock that knee, then you're gonna send your left leg, toe pointed, high up along with it. So the left leg is slightly lower, right leg a little bit higher. Walk your hands up so you're on the outside of your calf, or you're wrapping your hands around your calf. Pull your abs down. You're gonna give this right leg a little pull, pull, switch. Pull, pull, 
switch, pull, pull, switch, back and forth. You can keep this nice and small, or if your low back is safe and your abdominals are strong, you can make this a little bigger. Pull, pull, switch, pull, pull, switch, pull, pull, switch, pull, pull, switch. Two more like this, and then we're gonna go single switches. Pull, pull, switch, pull, pull, switch, and single it out for eight, seven, pull the abs down, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Shake the head no, rest it out. Next one is gonna be the Pilates double leg stretch. So I want you to watch the first one and then join me on the second one. You're gonna go um, feet high to the sky, toes pulled down towards you, and you're gonna reach up towards your toes. That's gonna be inhale one. Exhale two is back of the hands together, reach overhead. Inhale three is gonna be dragging the knees in towards the chest. Exhale four is gonna be reaching the arms towards your feet, curling head, neck, and shoulders up. So that's the full double leg stretch. Inhale one, feet and hands to the ceiling. Exhale two, hands overhead. Inhale three, pull in the knees. Exhale four, reach towards your feet. Inhale one, reach up. Exhale two, hands overhead. Inhale three, knees into chest. Exhale four, reach towards your feet. Inhale one. Exhale two, hands overhead. Inhale three, knees in. Exhale four, curl up. Last one. Inhale one, to the ceiling. Exhale two, overhead. Inhale three. Exhale four, and reach. Lower down. Take a couple of bridges. Double leg, we're gonna do two. Lower down, let's counter, let's get our glutes involved. We're gonna do a single leg bridge on the left side. Right leg pointed to the ceiling, thighs are parallel. You're gonna exhale, lift, inhale, lower. As you squeeze up through that left glute, exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Stabilizing strong. That's five, we're gonna do five more. Five, good, bra line stays down, four, Reaching up to a nice long bridge. Three, reach that knee to the opposite side of the room. Two, last one, hold up. Re-squeeze your left glute. Lower down for five, four, three, two, one. Let's go into crisscross, then we'll do that right side. Hands behind the head. Head is heavy in your hands. Hands are stacked. You're gonna curl head, neck, and shoulders up and then walk both feet in so you're in that nice little ball. So this is just like bicycle from when we were younger, but we're gonna make it harder. So you're gonna cross opposite arm to your knee, pull your abs down. From here, inhale to prepare, exhale, curl up high to the center. Good, inhale, twist the other way. Exhale, curl up high to the center. Inhale, twist, look towards the elbow that's behind you. Exhale, curl up higher. Inhale, twist, exhale, curl up higher. Inhale, twist, exhale, curl up higher. Rest your head in your hands. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. For four, three, two, curl up high to the center. One, curl up high to the center and rest. This time, single leg bridge on the right. Send that left leg. Parallel, up, nice and long, toes pointed. Start to exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Push strong out through the right heel. We're gonna do 10 on this side as well. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Right up through that heel, squeeze the right glute for five. Good, try to keep the pelvis nice and still and level. For three, for two, we're gonna hold on this last one. One, hold up high to the sky. Squeeze your right glute with your brain a little bit more. Take five seconds to lower down. Five, four, three, two, one. Hug your knees in. Second set of bicycles. Start in your little ball. Hands behind the head, stacked and heavy. Twist to one side. Pull your abs down. Inhale here. Exhale, center. Inhale, twist. Exhale, high to the sky. Inhale here, high to the center. Inhale, exhale, center. 
Inhale, twist. Exhale, center for five, four, three, two, and one, and rest. Beautiful. We're gonna flip over into plank. So if you come on over, we're gonna go onto all fours. Scoop your abs up and into your back. And you wanna be one long line. So I'll tell clients, pull your shoulder blades down your back. You wanna have your hands in neutral. So we always tend to kind of see people in plank do this little triangle. Open it up into a nice neutral. Scoop your abs up and into your back. And we're gonna hold right here for about 10 more seconds. Neck is long, you're looking right between your fists. To make this a little bit harder, for 10 repetitions, we're gonna inhale, touch our knees down, exhale, squeeze them up, squeeze your quads. Inhale, touch down, exhale, squeeze them up. Inhale, touch down, exhale, pull your abs up even more. Inhale, touch down, exhale, pull them up. Inhale, touch down, exhale, pull them up. Five more, exhale, pull, three, that was four, three, two, and one. Hold here, lower down with control, take a little child's pose. We're gonna roll over onto our side to take a side star. So the elbow is gonna be right underneath the shoulder. Tendency is to have it too far out, scoop it up right and under. Knees are bent and you're in a little bit of hip flexion, maybe about 20 degrees. Take the opposite hand, put it on top of the hip. We're just gonna lift and lower in this position. So lift and lower. We're gonna go for 10. As you lift, exhale, strong out through the armpit, and you're also squeezing the glute of that lower leg. Good, this is five. We've got five more to go. Five, open up through the collarbones. Three, good, two, and one, we're gonna hold up. Take the top leg, extend it out, toes pointed, lift up even more from that bottom glute. This is our end position. Starting position is right back down. So we're gonna stack the legs, bend the knees, lift up and out. Stack the knees, lift up and out. You're really feeling major work in that bottom glute. And each time you lift, try to pull your abs back and in. Good, we've got six more. Five more, exhale, lift, strong through the armpit. Good. Four, three, these are hard. That bottom glute should be burning. Last two, and last one. Lower down, let's switch sides. So the setup is the same. You're on your elbow, strong out and through the armpit. Knees are stacked with a little bit of hip flexion. We're gonna just do 10 lifts. Lift up, lower down. Lift up, lower down. As you lift, nice big exhale. As you lower, nice big inhale. Strong out through the armpit, and you're squeezing your bottom glute to help that rise, have it help you rise up. Good, let's do four more. Four, as you exhale and lift, pull your abs back. Three, two, and one, hold up, extend that opposite leg, toe pointed, strong out through the armpit, lift through the bottom glute. This is your end position. So we're gonna start low, lift high for one. Start low, lift high for two, good. Exhale, lift, three. Strong out through the armpit, four. Feel that bottom glute really work for you. As you come up and exhale, pull your abs back. That way you're not compensating through the lower back. Our lower back should be in a nice neutral. Good, you've got three more. Three, this is tough. Lift up from the bottom, two. Last one, lift and hold. Lower back down slow. Second round of planks. Going into your plank, same form. Instead of being a triangle, let's open that space up. Shoulder blades down the back. Get into a nice long plank. Scoop the abs up and in towards your back. And then we're gonna take those little knee taps. So knees tap down, exhale, straighten them out. 
Knees tap down, exhale, straighten them out. We've got eight more. Use your breath. Each time you exhale, you scoop your abs up and into your back a little bit more. As you bring the knees up, squeeze the quads for four, three, good, for two, and for one. Let's roll back onto our backs for the classic move, the Pilates 100. So <clears throat> we've given ourselves a little bit of a break from being on our backs. The Pilates stance is the same. So you're gonna point your toes, turn the legs out, but then they're lifted up to a nice 90 degree angle between your femur or your thigh bone and your torso. Quads are locked out as much as you can get them. Abdominals are pulled down and in. You're gonna keep that same space between the chin and the chest, about the size of a golf ball. Curl head, neck, and shoulders up. This is already work. Pull your abs down even more. Send your arms out nice and straight. Energy out towards your bum. From here, we're gonna just start to slap the water or pump the arms. So you wanna inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale and exhale. As you exhale, Pull your abs down. So stay in your head. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Two more. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Rest. As you can tell, that's hard. And it really should be a good burn. We're gonna do one more round. Send the legs up, lock them out, point the toes. Turn the heels together, toes apart. Exhale, curl head, neck, and shoulders up. Pull your abdominals down. Maybe pull your legs back towards you one centimeter. Start to slap the water up and down. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale. Exhale, pull your abs down. Inhale. Exhale, pull your abs down. Two more. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, and rest. Shake your head from side to side. I do want to end with one more round of crisscross. Such an efficient one. Encourages trunk rotation, deep abdominal strength. Plus, the way we do it in Pilates is really hard. So stack your hands one on top of the other. Head is heavy. Exhale, curl head, neck, and shoulders up. Keep that space. Hopefully, with this support, your neck doesn't feel too strained. Let's turn to one side. Pull your abs down. Inhale here, exhale, curl high to the center. Inhale, twist, exhale, curl high. Inhale, twist, exhale, curl high. Pull your abs down. Inhale, twist, exhale, curl high. Inhale, twist, exhale, curl high. Six, seven, curl high. Eight, curl high. Nine, curl high, last one, 10. Curl high to the center, pull your abs down, four, three, two, one, and rest. Excellent job today, guys. We went over some of the most foundational Pilates movements and positions, and hopefully you have a great fire through your midsection and have a wonderful day. Thanks.